Hello everyone and welcome back to Shopkeep 2. We have expanded the shop a little bit. We have a little bit more of a fancier entryway with a long row of tables. I've been trying to make some money a little bit between uh, the last look and now. And you'll find that uh, it's going okay, I think, for us. Let me get rid of that bread there. We have upgraded the town a little bit since then. And let me open up the store. Yay! Okay, money should be flowing in. Right, so I'll show you. We upgraded the town since last time over here at our town management table. We now have the cook level one, so we can kind of gather materials from him and cook items to sell. That's kind of a decent way to get money. I've also noticed that there are these trash cans around that you can kind of rummage through like a hobo and uh, potentially earn a bit of spendable cash there. So here is the, the kitchen. Now, this guy wanted us from the blacksmith to buy a bow after I bought this place. And I'll have to see about doing that as soon as possible. But here's all his ingredients. We can buy these and then use him and tell him to cook using those said ingredients. I'm just looking for some more trash cans right now for some more pocket money. Furniture vendor has not been upgraded just yet. Looks like we made a sale. $3.99 for... I don't think that chair can lean back, though. Oh, boy. Since I'm not in my shop, there's stuff being stolen right now. Probably not a good idea to just leave your shop unattended, folks. You get thieves that way. All right, there we go. It's fine, though. I have a decent amount of money at this point. Let's just restock some of this. I don't know why they're stealing my wooden boots. All right, there we go. And as long as you're able to keep your your shelves kind of stocked enough, you can um, get a good influx of customers that'll hopefully keep buying your goods. And it's kind of really important, I think. I'm not quite 100% sure on that. I'm still kind of in the testing phases, but I'm pretty sure that the, once you have more items to sell, they uh, spawn more people to come to your shop. As you can see, we had such a huge influx right there. It's almost midnight, though. We should really be closing for the evening, but, uh, you know, I have repairs to make to the, to the benches and shelves because, for some reason, consumables are not their forte. But then again, all we have is really an apple and water, though we can make bread. And that's something I want to get into as soon as possible. Oh, so there's some trash. People always making a mess in our lovely establishment. Hello, welcome. Welcome, uh, Ruta. Hello. Uh, I, I bet there's stuff in this trash can over here, though. I'm going to get a look at, you know. A strong b a businessman mentality basically means that um, we don't have to worry about... We don't have to worry about, uh, you know, pinching pennies or anything like that. We can just go over, get our money straight from the trash can. You know, you, you kick my stuff and you just throw your trash on the ground. I'm overall unimpressed with your attitude, sir. And your hat is terrible looking. I kind of enjoy this game just for the banter. Even though I'm kind of just bantering by myself here. Hopefully you guys are having an okay time. And if, again, if you like Shopkeep and you want to see more, definitely hit that like button. Leave a comment down below to show your support for the series as we progress and hopefully turn this into a cool looking shop for everyone to buy all of our fancy dancy stuff. We're still, in my opinion, on like really low tier items. I don't know how far the, da the uh, game really goes. I haven't really, again, looked too much into it. I enjoy going into games blind. Um, I enjoy playing the game rather than spoiling it for myself and watching a whole bunch of other people do it. Though, I mean, that's part of the reason why I kind of know about the game because I know people are making content on it. But um, overall, uh, besides just the basic concept of setting up a shop and laying down tables and putting things on it, don't know. Don't know what else there is. But we're trying to get some levels. If we take a look at our scroll, we have sprint level two. Uh, we're working our way to bigger lungs right now. Uh, nothing in combat because, well, 
We haven't really fought much. Uh, management. We haven't really gotten enough points for anything, though. We're going to get this price list, which is, I think, going to be really nice in the future. Delivery 2. <laughs> uh, sneezing. Uh, increases cleaning power, or let's, let's get reduced delivery time. The quicker we can get things in stock, the quicker we can make money. At least that is the notion and theory behind a lot of this stuff. Ooh, someone bought an apple. And a bottle of water. Nice. And Fisa. Hello. I don't know why you need a bandana. Uh, you look like a nice lady, but you seem to be wanting to do some thieving tonight. That's okay. I won't pry too much. I have a GeForce Game Ready Driver update. Huh. All right. So the Resting Paladin, I think, is doing quite well for ourselves. Um, right now, we have about 848 in ourselves, and uh, I think in our vault or so. We have 844, so money, money being made. I hope you like the little display here. We have the end tables, the uh, lower shelving, and then higher on the on the sides. I think that kind of is a good look for the entryway. We don't really have any sort of advanced table just yet in the game, so um, it's going to be a bit rough. I'll just sweep the floors, act like I'm doing something for this episode. In reality, all I'm doing is sitting in my room and talking to myself, just like any sane person would. Hello, sir. Welcome. Welcome, Jack. Uh, fine boots we have for sale. You're going for the bandana, are you? You dare kick. I know these boots are for your feet, but no need for you to kick them, though. A little rude. Thank you for purchasing Pepe. Okay, you're not green enough to be Pepe. these make sure it's all good to go climb on top we're sasha sasha mortana all right thank you for purchasing a nice set of wooden wooden sabotants going on there kicking our water i'm not i'm not impressed with your attitude sasha smith most generic name paul skipper fisherman obviously based on the hat We're just browsing. Yes, we have ambitions when it comes to this game. Yeah, just browsing, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, nice big influx of people coming in. Yes, welcome. Welcome, let me let me just sweep right in front of you, sir. Please. Please, yes, come in. Thank you. Sasha Skipper Get out of here. Kick my stuff? Leave your trash in here. This is why I'll never open up my own business. There's no, I'm dealing with people. Even fake people. Boy. They're just rude. Which is good. Profit always nice. If we take a look, our town tax is up to 292. Uh, blacksmith is about 1.5k for uh, really anything. So that's gonna... That, that seems like it's gonna be a while. And when do you upgrade, or how do you upgrade the furniture store? Because getting more furniture items would be really, really ideal at this point, I think. Let's head over into the cook, and I'll show you guys how cooking is kind of done, since we have a decent amount of money now. So, hello, let's make some food. So, you're going to see some recipes here. Now, these cost different amounts of gold to make and different amounts of things to uh, craft them. So, classic meat soup. One meat, vegan soup. That is um, pretty expensive there. So, let's do, let's just do some potatoes and meat, right? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Kepelin, Kepelinai, I think. Um, it's going to take 35 seconds to make, cost 15, so we're going to quickly half that. So we're going to sell it immediately for 20 gold. 
However, the resource is itself one meat, two potatoes. So one meat is 60. Wow. And two potato is about 32. So 92 plus 15. That's like 120 gold per. I mean, I guess we'll give it a go. So let's do uh, 20 potato and 10 meat. and craft just like that so in theory it's gonna take uh, 350 seconds I suppose because it's 35 seconds per 15 each so that's gonna bring the price probably close to I'm gonna assume a hundred 150 150 gold we're gonna try that we've taken some loss apparently of nine okay i would i wouldn't have thought so otherwise i would have some you know negative funds in my inventory right now but maybe it's just from the food let's go check the food now though there we go hello morgan all right there's our 10 food items it's worth 84 gold um, as you can see our, our resources per is not that great how, mu how much is it to make one it's 15 gold to make it plus 32 so that is uh, 47 plus 120 no plus 60 so it's about a hundred or so gold. So we're gonna we're gonna turn this up. We're gonna turn this up to be about 150. I think is what I said. You know what? Screw it. 200% profit on these. That might be good. Uh, boots. Yeah, we'll sell boots right next to the food items. You know how they never they say never put your feet up on furniture, but uh, I think this will be fine. Anyone outside? Is it safe? We're open. It's it's the crazy midnight sale. Please buy your food. It's only eight o'clock. You know we're basically a restaurant. More than 123 gold. You're a stickler. This is the freshest of meat that's been sitting out for at least two hours. I don't know what your complaint is. I had to upgrade my hammer next, I think. Yes, please come in, stupid. Oh my goodness, people bought it. Like, for example, this is like bandana, bandana, and then middle bandana, and then middle here, and then you know, you can just put some boots on the upper and middle and. You get some more variety on your shelf, and you can hold more items that way. I, th I think that's going to be effective. Even just throw a piece of bread. So someone can some pick up that bread as if it's a it's a deal. Buy two shoes, get one bread. It won't pay more than four M. Now, what does the M stand for? Money? Just M for money? I have a feeling that's probably it. Hello, welcome. Please, come down, buy some food. Heck yeah, 218, I, I love that price. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I can't wait until we get like some craftable like armor and things and we can go on adventures and kill all the wolf and farm animals and whatever this thing is down here. I have no clue what's down there. There's a ship? Huh. There's another town, too. I had no idea. There's a lot going on in the map. 
Nice ponytail, sir. I appreciate the effort in the hair upkeep. Knock these shells around a little bit. Okay, so, it's been a few more days. The shop pretty much looks the same at the moment. However, I've been dumping 100% of our profits into the town management screen. So, if you take a look at this, we can buy the blacksmith. Such as that. So we have the blacksmith. I want to see what this thing will do. And hopefully it adds some cool functionality. And let's figure out where the blacksmith is. If this is Markiplier, he would be yelling, where's the blacksmith? But I am, alas, not he. All right, there's a quest guy over here. And apparently this looks to be the blacksmith. Uh, a bow. I'm all for a bow. A pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel. Which, all these things look to be a saleable uh, kind of thing. So we can sell that stuff, uh, use it for ourselves. Interact with Dirty Slim. All right, hammer hitter. Great. You can craft some blacksmithing stuff. So leather items, so wolf hides for that. Iron ingots, uh, tables. That'll be really handy, I think, in the future there. Um, what else? Quests. Spider hunt. Wood build table. Uh, let's, let's do wolf hides. Very classy kind of quest there. In fact, can we accept all of these? Yeah, sure. We'll accept it all. Now the question is gonna be with the bow. Do, do, do I have to buy arrows? Oh, <gasps> I don't think so. All right, cool. Bo, I like archery. Let's, let's head on out of the town and see what's up. Hello, yes. Okay, we are out in the wilderness in this evening. I know I'm kind of hurrying along, but it's kind of the end of the episode, but it's okay. I want to do some combat. Now, this does have a bit of a drop to it, so... Oh, the battle music is real. She's charging us. Albeit slowly and very ineffectively. I can kite her for days. And there she goes. Ooh. Some raw meat. Okay. So the raw meat would be good. I mean, that's technically worth 60 gold right there, guys. If, we, if, we're, if we're not able to get enough hunting done, we can, in theory, I would assume make all of the food and sell it for almost 100% profit. The only thing is, where do I get potatoes? I wonder if I can start my own farm. Ooh, we got a wolf hide. There we go. So that quest is complete. Here, wolfy, wolfy, wolf. Here, wolfy, wolfy, wolf. I'm actually kind of glad they added combat, just just for my sanity's sake, I need to be out of that shop. And I'm pretty content with the arrow right now. I'm not walking into another wolf, am I? Gotta be careful of things spawning behind you. All right, we got more wolf hides. So we have two wolf hides now. So we could craft some leathers and sell some other armor. So we can actually start specializing our store, you know, start getting some clothing um, racks for armor and weapons and tools. Start vendoring that out. And then we become the adventurer's kind of general store for the town. Over here looks like another little town. Looks like there's a quest. Goat genocide? Wow. Goat head recipe. Okay. So there's a quest there. And there's another little town off in the distance that way. There's a lot more to explore, guys. And I hope you are ready for it because that's going to be next episode where we explore, do some proper combat, and try and sell some of our stuff. I kind of wish a lot of this was kind of in an MMO, right? Because making your own store in MMOs I think would have been really cool. Anyways, with that, thank you all so much for watching. We're going to return to town. If you guys have any tips tricks and ideas go ahead and leave them in the comments down below hit that like button for more videos such as this and subscribe for more creative content that is produced daily so 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.